Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about CSS. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story. Hi Frederick, what do you think about using Bootstrap on portfolio projects? Some context. I am a computer science student trying to build my first application completely on my own without any tutorials. It's going to be a basic banking ATM application. I put much more time into learning backend technologies so far, so far, so I feel more comfortable with that. I'm building the front end first, and I'm going to use JavaScript XML HTTP request object to connect to the client API, which is Java API, and I'll send data to my SQL using JDBC. I started building a front end with Bootstrap, and I thought, why not just rewrite these two pages with custom CSS instead of letting Bootstrap hold my hand? <clears throat> That was harder than I thought it be. Uh, it would be. It's very difficult to make custom CSS look anywhere near as good as Bootstrap when you're new to all of this and you suck at CSS. I went back to Bootstrap and now I'm just trying to get a few basic pages finished. Do you think that I need to be better with CSS at this stage or should I just allow Bootstrap to do most of the heavy lifting with the styling for now? I have a basic understanding of CSS Grid, Flexbox, but I'm not complete competent with those yet. I still I'm I still find positioning difficult as well. I figure that I can just get the entire product built, then rewrite the bootstrap with custom CSS if anything, or just use custom CSS in my next project. I don't know if it's unusual to be able to make bootstrap work but suck with CSS. So yeah, I think that you can just use Bootstrap, my friend, because the focus for you, it's very clear here that your focus is to produce a working application of some sort. Your focus here is not to to practice CSS. That's basically it. And I'm, and if, uh, for this, let's say for the sake of argument, that you were trying to just learn as much as possible. I think it's important for you to kind of focus on something first. Because from what I understand, if you're a computer science student and you're like, if I'm deriving from what you're saying here, that you have a two page application of some sort, the where and the way that you describe the setup that you're using tells me a lot about your, I think comfort level with all of the tech that you're dealing with right now and it seems that most of what you're doing right now is completely new to you and so what I like to say to people when it comes to learning patterns and how to adopt new technology I think it's really important that you don't try to master every aspect of what you're doing all at once if it's new to you what I mean by that is basically that when you're doing this, you are most likely learning how to, for the very first time, or at the very least not something you've done all that much, how to spin up a MySQL database, connect and uh, use the JDBC uh, interface together with some Java app API. I'm assuming you're just uh, either using like a standard Java or you're using Spring or something like that. And on top of that, you're trying to do the front end, right? So I, I think that all of this seems to be new to you and so my question is why do you feel the need to make the CSS as an example a part of like the whole learning process now I know of course that you you might have this idea that you have to learn it all and sure if you want to be the best full stack developer that you could possibly be that is that, that should be your end goal because custom CSS a uh, there I, I, I'm just gonna say that there are a lot of people, a lot of companies who use something like Bootstrap or Material UI, etc., etc., or Material Design to to do a lot of the work or Tailwind CSS, etc., etc. But there's also an in like a, an enormous amount of companies who are not using it, like where you actually do use custom CSS. And if you want to do serious front-end development that is part of it to know custom CSS but my question the thing that I'm questioning is whether or not you have to do that right now 
and you seem to have a, kind of identify that on your own and I really think that you can just use Bootstrap for this and sure you can focus more heavily on learning CSS in a future project but if you're building an entire application and it's for like a portfolio or a, if it's a learning project I mean you're still learning you're still going to to, to learn tons and tons about how to connect a front end to a back end, persist things to a database, etc., etc., and that is good enough. I mean, if if you already knew that and that was all, you know, it was old hat for you, then you would probably just focus on the CSS in of itself, right? And I think that that you, I think that you should cut yourself a little bit of slack here and just use whatever feels natural as long as you're progressing and you're not deliberately making things easy on yourself because I don't know you're scared of trying something new or you're lazy or something like that but I don't think that that's the case I simply think that you realize now what I think a lot of people realize at some point uh, with different level I would say with varying degrees of added <laughs> of attitude uh, and that is that uh, front-end and CSS and so forth is actually complicated enough that you require training and practice like it's it's not something that you just do it's definitely not something that you do I would say that uh, what you're describing uh, specifically the positioning is probably one of these most sure f sure ways of telling whether or not someone is proficient with CSS or not because positioning is a complicated thing and most people don't like in most backend developers or people who don't know how to do this they don't get it right responsive layouts and all of this stuff that is standard practice today it's not something that you just get it's not something that if you know everything about the back end that you will understand that in the front end because there's a very the APIs are specific and the the way that you express certain things and get certain effects within the front uh, within the front end space uh, there are a lot of rules and a lot of uh, trade secrets how to get the things that you want and if you don't practice and if, if you don't do that sort of stuff it's not something you're just going to be able to, f to figure out and that's why these CSS frameworks are so popular because they they take away a lot of those things f and make things a lot easier for you and on top of that of course it looks on average at the very least better than what's you know someone who is not gifted within design or UX or so forth will be able to produce. So what I want you to take away from this is that I think that yes you can just use Bootstrap and I think, I think that this is goes for anybody who does any type of development. If you're making a portfolio site or anything like that the focus if, if you're doing this thing for yourself then the focus is that you should be learning something. So if you're not trying to specifically learn CSS but there are other things that you're learning then you're still benefiting from doing this project so you don't have to use CSS to uh, you don't have to be do like custom CSS if you feel uncomfortable with it I think that if your end goal is to become a full stack developer or something like that you should take yourself uh, take yourself through some projects where you actually focus on getting good at the CSS part and really like get that right but it doesn't have to be the focus of every project just because you're doing a full stack thing especially if you're making a portfolio thing that you're going to show to some people at some point then it's probably a good idea to make that look kind of good and what's nice about a CSS framework such as Bootstrap is that you get that fairly cheaply it's almost uh, I mean it's going to look most likely a lot better than what you can do unless you're a if you have a flair for design and UX and so forth it's probably the best way the best option to get something visually nice and then you can of course focus on the CSS later but don't feel the need to master every part of the stack when you're working uh, especially as a beginner because usually the way it goes is that you do a lot of projects some stuff sticks and some stuff you and some stuff you're even gonna forget and then after a while some of the things of the stack are going to feel like old hat you're kind of going to know them and you don't really think about them all that much and they they're just something that you know and then there will be things that you can focus on afterwards and that's what i think you should do now focus on the things that that make sense right now and then pick up the css at the later stage have a great day